Dear Sherry, I like to make infusions with water in the mix that I separate out later. I was wondering, can I use that water after draining and straining to make tea? <laughs> well, that's an interesting question. Before I get to the answer, just want to remind everybody, hit that YouTube subscribe button and notification bell because I try to upload new videos every Wednesday. Also, be sure to see the comments below for more information about making infusions with and without water in the mix. Okay, can you use the water that you made your infusion with to make tea? Well, technically you can, you can do anything, but normally I wouldn't. Why not? Well, the reason we want to put water in, if you do opt to put water in when you're making marijuana butter or oil, is that it helps to leach out some of that acrid green flavor, um, and it's kind of a filter in a way. So when I'm adding water, I really don't want the things that are attached to the water. I want to get rid of that. Um, might there be a few trichomes in it or some chlorophyll or beneficial nutrients? There might be, but normally I would just discard the water or use it to water my plants or something like that. It's not going to taste very good as a tea, and it's certainly not going to make you very high, if at all. So there will be minimum of minimal effects that way. If you do want to make a tea, you could take some decarbed cannabis leaves or even stalks or stems, have a little bit of trichomes on them. That's another way to use stalks or stems and make a tea out of that. Uh, also, I would make a tea that uses maybe milk or cream or some sort of fat because remember, cannabis metabolizes better with fat. But as far as using infusion water to make tea, uh, you could, but I would pass on that. Hope this helps. Eat your weed. Mm -hmm.